guys, it's Wisteria, and welcome back to our week-long marathon of Animal Crossing Town Tours in preparation for a very exciting, exciting to me. Hopefully it will be to you guys, because I am really excited about these couple of surprises that I have coming for you next Monday. So today we are going to be touring the town of Evil, which I think is a pun, because I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, it's kind of like a witchy little town. I don't remember and I'm pretty sure I only saw a picture of it or two. I found these all on Tumblr, so if I can find the original mare, I'll leave their Tumblr and stuff in the description, so be sure to check that out. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. So like I said, I have little to no knowledge of what this town is all about. I've never been here, so that we're going to experience this together. Like I have no idea if it's hacked not hacked what season it's in or anything it might not even be a witchy little town looks like it's in fall who else is just like super excited for fall because i know i am okay so here we are in evil <laughs> i'll just keep pronouncing it like that it looks like they've left us a present Ooh, a few presents let's go ahead and see what those are and they have this cute little moon path around their tree oh that's really nice okay i'm gonna open up these presents and then tell you what i got oh i put it on the ground instead that's that's not what I wanted, but okay. Okay, so we have- ooh! Mm, I'm excited. Okay, we have a witch's robe, and then we have, of course, the witch's hat, and some black pumps! How cute is this? I did remember it was witchy. This is exciting. Very Halloween-like and spooky. I see black flowers. This is perfect. Okay. So, which way to go first? <laughs> Get ahead. There's another bad pun for you. Which way? I know, I'm not funny. I'm sorry. Doesn't look like there- oh, okay. I was about to say it didn't look like there was a path, but it looks like in certain areas there's a bit of QR codes. We have this statue fountain with a metal bench. This is a very beautiful area. I love it and all the evergreens. The last time we were at had a lot of evergreens too. I love evergreens, so I'm not complaining. Whose house is this? Aurora, ooh. I don't remember Aurora. It's a pretty name, though. Tempted to go look at her. We'll do it. We'll do it. Oh, yeah, I remember you. You're the cute little penguin. Oh, okay. At least we we know now, because I got too curious there. And then we have this adorable little heart QR path thing. Design, I guess. <laughs> and the campsite is right behind Aurora's house. I'm not seeing anything hacked. Oh, the paths are dirt paths. Oh, that's that's hard to keep up with. You have to run on these things all the time to keep them there. I'm impressed. Like, I applaud for you, <laughs> mayor of this town, for being able to keep up with that. Oh, we have dead trees. I'm loving this aesthetic entirely. This is wonderful. And then down here, it looks like we have the town hall. Oh, the flag is Eevee, and it's at the Zen style of town hall. And here's some dandelions and roses and dead trees and mushrooms. We gotta do it. We gotta eat the mushroom. Okay. Are we ready? Yes, it's always... It's just wonderful to do that. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then... We have a path down here, which leads to this house. Sally's house, I don't know who that is either. Hmm. We've got some unique villagers here, which is nice, because a lot of the times, especially with hacked villages, it seems like you get like the same villagers over and over, the really like popular ones, which is nice, but you know, it's also nice to have something new. Ooh, Blair, this also reminds me of a witch pun because of the Blair Witch Project. Yeah, yeah, you get it? Yeah. Are you- oh, this is Sally, okay. Little chipmunk. What a cutie. Okay, have we missed- yes, we've missed a lot of this island. Oh, there went a little cricket. Oh, and there's a stone tablet right here, surrounded by- ooh, bones. Very spooky. Okay, and then we have some more dandelions. What's this way? Oh yeah, the town hall again. Okay guess we could go this way. Ooh, there's a nice little stump right there. I think it has the heart design. Yes, but my webcam is kind of poopy, so it's hard to see. Okay, this is the town tree again. Let's go to the train station, because it's right up here. 
So it's in the default style. And there's a nice little pond there. Some bushes and plants all around. Oh, we have some bamboo here. And the Zin Bell, of course. Gotta ring it, though none of us can hear it. Not even me. Okay, let's get back on the path, if I can. That might help to stick to it. Here's another tree stump, which looks like it has a flower design. Can't quite tell, because once again, that's my webcam's fault. Let's go this way. Okay, the path leads up and down. What's up here? Oh, well, we have a villager house. Let's see who they have. Eric, okay, that's the deer, I believe. And then there's this cute little mushroom QR design. And the beach looks like it has a few trees. Not sure if it really has anything else. It looks like it's a pretty standard beach. Let's go back on the path. And oh, we have the cafe. The cafe always reminds me of fall. And I find myself in real life. I only ever really go to like any coffee shop in like the fall or the winter. I don't know, is it just me? Like, I'm not the biggest fan of coffee, except for, like, iced chai lattes. Fun fact. Those are amazing. If you haven't had one, do it. And we have Kiki, who is a black cat. And I just suddenly changed here, but black cats are perfect for witchy towns. Like, I want Kiki so bad. I love black cats. She looks a little different than what I remember her to. Maybe I'm thinking of a different cat. I don't know. Let's see, who lives here? I have Cole's house. Once again, I'm not sure who that is. And then we have, oh, <laughs> Eric's house again. We're already here. Okay. <laughs> oh, excuse us, Kiki. I'm sorry we're kind of pushing you there. I think this is probably Kiki's house. I was correct. Now, who lives here? Lolly's house. Is that the cat? I think it's a cat. I'm, my memory fails me all the time. And we have the classic police station here, which is my favorite. And then, let's see, we'll go back over here. We have this water pump. I used to have, like, this exact QR code and water pump in my town. I've since taken it out so that I could put a wisteria trellis there, of course. But, yes, I like those a lot. There's a lot of apples around, which kind of reminds me of a fairy tale type thing, you know, like apples just seem like they appear a lot in fairy tales, you know? So I think it does fit along quite nicely with the theme. Let's go up here first. We have retail up here. Anything around it. We have some stumps to sit on. I feel like I always get really lost in these town tours because I can't see my map very well. <laughs> so I'm always like running around in circles or I'm like missing spots, so... I do apologize. Let's go back down this way. And then... Ooh. Who's... Oh, there's a little egg here. That's adorable. Okay, whose house is this? Tiffany. Oh, okay. I think Tiffany is the sassy cat, right? At first I was confusing her with Whitney. I used to have Whitney. But I don't think I've ever had Tiffany. Oh, and then whose house is this that I was just about to skip? Fauna! Oh yes, I love Fauna. Okay, now let's cross this bridge onto the other half, or more like a, a fourth of the island. It's very small over here. We have a log bench with- oh, I love the book there. We have Sally again, I think that was their name. <laughs> There's a perfect apple over here on the bridge, along with some mushrooms. More apple trees around this water well. Oh, yes, I think you're Lolly. Ah, I had it right. I did remember who Lolly was. She called me kitten. That's adorable. Okay, whose house is this? Is there any villager nearby? I love this, like, uh, gym. Amethyst, that's what it's called. <laughs> How did I forget amethyst? It's like my favorite rock, mineral, whatever, crystal type thing, you know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go in here. Ooh, it has the red carpet with some Rococo furniture. Ooh, and some of the gorgeous set too. Fancy. This reminds me very much, ooh, is that a little cat up there in that picture? I think it is. Oh no, or is that a Mew? Could be Mew. <laughs> but it reminds me of almost like a museum type house with this display. There's a telescope and a globe. 
Definitely an intellectual lives here. Oh my gosh, what was her name? Pecan? I don't remember. I used to have her in my tower and she was very lovely. Oh, I accidentally sat in their chair. That works too. Okay, let's go down to the basement. Okay, we have some plants around in the spring. Definitely getting some hippie vibes from right there. <laughs> we have KK Slider's picture. We have a bed, a big bear, and some more of the mushroom set. I love the mushroom set. It's so nice. Let's go ahead and go back up here. And now upstairs. Ooh, lots of plants. Lots of nature. This is cool. And then there's the hero set or Link from The Legend of Zelda with the Triforce over there. So they're definitely a Zelda fan. Here's the Master Sword. And then we have another bed and a mushroom table and some books and a bookshelf. Little roasted marshmallow chairs. Very nice. Ooh, look at that Zelda um, stained glass. That's what it's called. That's amazing. I like that. Let's go ahead and leave this house and see. Okay, here's the villager that lives here, I'm assuming. Emma. She says nothing. She's a little camera shy. It's okay. Then let's go up here. We have another player's house. Is the villager around here? I see one up there, but that might be that house. So all four houses are like right in this little area right here. So I might get the houses wrong. Just because there's so many houses so close together. Ooh, this is definitely a witch's house. We have a witch and her cauldron right here. We have a lot of nature stuff, a lot of spooky stuff over here. <laughs> Ooh, and this reminds me of like a altar to a god with the incense and this horrifying thing. It always scares me. And a gnome! How lovely! Hopefully he doesn't come alive with any spell. <laughs> and then we have this flask and another gem of some sort. I think it's amethyst, but the coloring's kind of off. I'm pretty sure it's amethyst. Now let's go ahead and go upstairs. Oh, and once again we have a lot of witchy inspired things like a cauldron, these spider webs, stools, and pumpkins. It definitely reminds me of a witch's kitchen. I really love this little furnace type thing over here too. Looks like the gnome's cooking something. <laughs> or guarding it. Kind of looks like he's guarding it. Okay, so let's go ahead and leave this house. Oh, here's a villager here. Very adorable. I love her outfit. Echo. She says three stars. She gives a three star rating for this. <laughs> Whose house is up here? What am I getting stuck on? A bush. Sorry, excuse me. Let's see. Poppy. Mm, the name sounds familiar. Is it a squirrel? I don't remember. Did we, did we already see this water well? Yeah, I remember this log bench in the book. Okay. Don't want to go backwards. Let's keep going forwards. Okay, I think we were in that house just now. Let's see, who are you? Emerald, she says thanks. I love that little moon on her head. And it looks like cat ears. She reminds me of like Luna and Artemis from Sailor Moon. Let's go in here. I don't know if this is her house or if it's someone else's. It's hard to tell. Oh, this house is definitely my style. We've got the princess set. I think that's what it's called. I'm a little rusty still. I haven't played Animal Crossing as much in the past like year or so as I used to. Maybe not that long, maybe like six months, I don't know. We have some cake and some sushi. I really want sushi right now. More sweets, ooh. I definitely love this house. There's a picture of Fauna over there. Oh, they are definitely Sailor Moon inspired. You see that stained glass over there? I knew I was getting a Sailor Moon vibe, which is obvious with the crescent moon and ears, you know. Oh, and then they have a very lovely spooky little basement here, you know, just girly things. Now let's go upstairs. Once again, it's very spooky. They have the creepy style furniture here. I love that like, I don't know, two-faced kind of decor, I guess. This is very gothic and spooky with the customized rococo at least i yeah i'm pretty sure it's purple i need to adjust the the color settings on this it's not working out too great we have some incense and a skeleton a crystal ball creepy clock just very nice very spooky this is my favorite house so far because it's both very girly and very creepy and i love both of those things very much Okay, so let's go ahead and leave this house and go on to the last house, I believe, which is this one. Is there a villager outside? 
and see one. Maybe he's inside for once. Or she. Or they, or you know, whatever. Oh, look at her. I love her, like, hairpiece and her outfit. This is Evie. Oh, wasn't there a flag on Evie? I think so. And they say thanks. And there's cabin-themed furniture. Oh, I love that painting up there. I think that's three different paintings. That's amazing. I haven't seen that. Animal Crossing before. It reminds me of something that they added in in The Sims with one of its, like, DLC kind of things. It reminds me of a painting from that, but I love that. That's very unique. Definitely a cute little house. And then lastly, I believe, we have just the stump with another little book over here. But yes guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love this town. You could definitely tell a lot of work and thought and love was put into it, just like each of these towns. I love going to dream addresses because you can see people's personalities, their interests. I don't know, it's just all very unique and personal to the mayor. But anyways guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another town tour. Bye bye.